Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Mama Kelly here. If you're new here, welcome. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. I received a package. Um, they sent it to me um, for free, which I appreciate. Um, I don't know if they just sensed it or what, but my turtle enclosure my for my three Russian tortoises has gotten too small. They just don't have enough room in there to move around and you know, live a happy life other than when they're out of there. So I, um, they reached out to me. It's called Avituvin, I think is how you pronounce it. I'll show you the box in a minute. Um, and they reached out to me and asked if I wanted to try one of their pet hutches and they have one that's used for tortoises. So I was like, yes, of course, that's wonderful. Well, what's really great is when I realized that it's the same company that made the one I already have, it's just they're gonna, they sent me the bigger one. So I already know I'm gonna like it because I like the other one. So I just thought I'd take you along as we put it together and check it out and get it all set up for Henry, Bert, and Ernie. So before we get started, here's the box that it came in. Uh, again, there is the name of the company. I think it's Ava Tubin. Um, and then it, this is the, if you like the exact one, once we're all done and have it put together, um, this is the item number and it could be used for different animals. Um, I'm thinking, you know, tortoises is one, but like any kind of reptile or even like a bunny or something, I don't know. So let's get going and start unboxing this thing. Hey, uh, if you're new here, one thing about me is I don't edit videos. So you sometimes see me walking up to the camera, turning it on or off, but that's just because I like to produce raw videos. So um, first step obviously is unboxing this big beast. It is a pretty hefty box. Um, so I'm just hoping what I can do is get it, it open and then um, I want to separate everything. If I remember correctly, everything's really labeled really well from the last time I put um, one of these together. Um, ugh. Let me work on this. Big piece of styrofoam. We'll Get rid of that. All right, so from what I can tell so far, everything is really packed well. They've got cardboard around it. They've got um, like thin styrofoam kind of stuff, bubble wrap. Um, and then each piece, um, if I remember, okay, that's actually an opening. Um, so, doesn't have a label on it, but I, it's pretty simple. I'm sure there's only one of each thing. So I'm gonna take a couple minutes here and here's a bottom piece with the, the tray. That's what's really nice about these is um, if you, it's, it's moisture um, resistant. So like I put pine bark and I'm gonna put some like coconut husk, uh, carpet for where they eat. Um, so once I get it all set up, I'll determine where I'm gonna put where. Um, but it is nice because this is very easily washed when you clean out the, you know, do your monthly cleaning or weekly cleaning or whatever you do for your animal, you can pull this out and wash it right up it, with soap and water. So yeah, I've got lots of pieces in here. So. I don't want to bore you with me pulling each piece out, but um, I'll be right back. Hold on a minute. I'm gonna put the knife down so you know you don't want to have any accidents because that would be bad. Then okay, you wouldn't have them when we kill anymore. And who would love you all the time? All right, I'm pretty much got everything out of the box. Um, I think see um there was quite a bit of uh protection materials um around the um the hutch and i have to say i don't know i'll figure out the name of the wood and i'll tell you but it's got the best smell it's like a 
cedar kind of smelling. Maybe I'm wrong in that, but found the little bag of all the screws and whatnot, and then the instruction manual. So I'm gonna dig into that, and let me show you this baby. The instructions are, let's see how they look. Oh, I love this. Okay, what I love is that it doesn't just tell you to use a certain screw. It actually tells you what it looks like and then gives it a name. So that way, when you're over here, same thing with all the pieces, gives it a letter to correlate with it. And so when you get into the directions, you go, oh, I need G and L or whatever. And it tells you what kind of screws and stuff to use. So, and then what order to do it in. And then, voila. Oh, and I forgot it's on wheels. I'm not even showing you my face, which is okay. I mean, I know I'm gorgeous and all, but this, this pet hutch is even more gorgeous, don't you think? Well, I'm going to convince you of it in a matter of minutes. And you're going to go buy yourself one for your your kid or yourself and you're gonna go get you know what you need so um let's see oh i know i was gonna tell you it has wheels so if it's a beautiful day outside i can wheel them outside onto the porch and they can have some natural sunlight which they just don't get enough of here where i live in wisconsin because it's just not warm enough most you know most of the year to be honest for them to go outside which um, if I lived in this, a southern state um, or out west, I would probably have them like a nice outside enclosure, but I don't have that option. So that's why a nice hutch like this is perfect. And like I said, they do have other products as well. What I'll do is th there'll be a link um, that you can go in. I don't make anything off of this or anything like that. Um, I'm going to give you my honest opinion, like once I get into this and see how easy it is to put together, um, and we'll go from there, but I don't want you to think like, I, Hey, go to the, the site and Kelly gets $10. It doesn't work that way. At least I don't think so. And if it did, that'd be even better, but I wouldn't send you there unless I believed in it. And if you know me, you know, that's true. So let's put this baby together. So a little trick that I always do is I usually like try to rip out the page and then put each item over the, the number. Um, so when I need it, I know where it is, but what's even, they are so good. Look, they put the number on the bag of the product. So I really didn't even have to do that, but I didn't know it until I actually got it all out. So yeah, very uh, easy. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot of screws and stuff. So keeping my fingers crossed, it's going to be simple to put together. That's Oliver saying hi. So what I did just to make things easier, and this only took me about five minutes, is I went through and I started up here and I put A, B, C, D, and then back here, um, or I can't remember which order I went in. Maybe it was here, E, F, G, H. There's a couple things in between there and so on. So when I get to putting it together and following the directions, it can just go snap, snap, snap. So um, one thing I found out while I was doing this, which I was kind of curious about, was whether or not the tortoises were gonna be able to get up and down. This is like um, rough. So they're little, they'll be able to, they won't slide. And then these these will be good for them to grab onto to go up and down because it's two levels. So that I thought was pretty cool. All right, well, I'm gonna put a couple pieces together and I'll let you know how it's going and how I feel about the process. Okay, I have the first two pieces together. Um, one thing I did just read is that you're supposed to have two people to do this to make it easier. And with two people, it should take about 45 minutes. But I'm thinking that that's about what time it'll take me. Um, because all you need is a screwdriver. Um, it has all the, there's pegs that just go into each other. And then when you screw in, it's already got it drilled out and inlaid. Um, so all you have to do is use either a screwdriver or a drill, which I have both. So I was kind of starting it with the screwdriver. And then um, for the two that I did already over here, and then I just screwdrivered the rest of the way, you know, in. 
But um, yeah, so obviously probably two people would make it go smoother, but hey, I'm Mama Kelly and it's not that hard. So you gotta watch out for thieves because he just took one of my bags of screws Yes, and then we have another thief who's behind bars. Yes, it's just where you belong, sassy puppies. But I realized I had put, oops, sorry, so close. I had put this piece on upside down, and it was really easy just to switch around, so that's good. So I've got three pieces together so far. So I need K and C, and I need four, five P1 screws. Got it. She's coming along. Um, only have got those pieces over there left and then I've got to get the wheels on, but it's going really well. Um, like I was saying, two people probably would made it a little easier, but it's not something you cannot do um, by yourself. Cause look at me, I'm doing it. So I just finished putting on the wheels. So I'm almost done. Um, it took me about an hour and a half. And again, that's because I did it by myself. I think if you had two people, oh my God, it would be so much easier. There's just certain parts that, you know, trying to hold this or the drill and that kind of thing. But yeah, I love it so far. I'm going to make a couple tweaks, I think, for tortoises. Um, might take out a piece or two, uh, but I will take you along for that as well. So um, I might just move some things around, um, which is kind of nice because it's really versatile. Um, and it, I love that the two uh, drawers come out. So I, when I want to change the bedding, I can just take it out and dump it and start over. So that's really good. But I'm gonna go take, I'm gonna get this standing on its feet and I'll give it a, you guys a look at it and then we'll start putting everything in there. Here she is all put together. She is beautiful, very nice to look at um, and a great asset to any home that has um, any kind of like small animal or uh, I can see so many things in here. I'm using it for my tortoises which now we'll kind of get into. I have my bark and my coconut uh, carpet, coconut shell carpet that I'm gonna be putting in the feeding areas. And then the bark will go uh, more in the other areas. Um, so what's nice um, is, uh, let me show you really quick. The, there's the coconut stuff. I have to, I just have to cut it to the size. Um, there's the reptile bark that I use. I've tried many different kinds and I just keep going back to that one. Um, but there's not, I mean, whatever works best for you and your, your pets. So, um, here's the inside. Um, they still in their current, um, house, they have a little enclosure or like little hideout spot. And so they still have that in this one. They have a ramp up. I'll probably, uh, do the feeding up there. Um, and maybe also down downstairs. That's funny. It's a condo. Um, and there's the ramp to go down. Um, and on the bottom here, like I said, I mean, there's just so many ways to get in. So you can, there's doors in the top and bottom on the right side and on the left side. And then on the end, it is, there's also a little door, um, that can get in, you know, get in that way if they're hiding out from you and, and you're trying to get a hold of them. Um, but yeah, so let's get to, let's get to getting, let's get the, these animals put in there or reptiles, I should say, but. Okay, so it's actually the next day um, and I am getting this finally set up. Uh, so I wanted to show you really quick. I already put the bark, like it was really nice. All I did was slot, slit it out and put the bark in there. And then like when I'm ready to clean it for the week, um, I'll just, or actually I do it like every two or three weeks. I shouldn't say every week. Um, then uh, I'll just pull this out, dump it into a garbage bag and be done. So kind of on this one, I just pour, bunch of bark out 
it'll probably only look like take one bag, not even a full bag, but I gotta pull this out a little bit more. Get it all the way to the edge. And what I might do is put a little bit of extra in through the door on this bottom part because um, I want it to be really thick in the main area down here where they're gonna be gonna be hanging out. So I've got plenty, I've got two more bags of this if I need it. So I've one there and then I've got one upstairs. So pretty cool, huh? And then you just slide it in. Slide it in like that. And then as I said, I might uh, put a little bit more in this area. Um, I'll have to remember that when I pull it out. So, uh, yeah, I love it. I'm hoping that they'll use the ramps. I'm, I'm waiting to see. Um, I'm going to go get them their baths and get their nails clipped. And then we'll bring them in here, feed them, and let them kind of get used to their new surroundings. So, all right. So just a little bit what it looks like from the top. This is that coconut. Um, it's just a thick like carpet almost, but it's made out of coconut husks or whatever they're called, shells, coconut shells. Um, and then I'm gonna feed up here and on the bottom. I'm gonna have to order one more piece of that because after I cut the piece for the top, this one's too small. So I'll buy another full piece. Um, but yeah, this is what she looks like. And now it's time to go give the turtles a bath and let them get used to their new enclosure. So this is the current house that they're in. Um, like I said, I might, I might end up just keeping it until I know for sure the other one's gonna work. Um, or just keep it for like one of the turtles to live in or not. I'm not sure yet. I don't know what I'm gonna do. It depends on how they take to the new um, home. But here they are all huddled together. Um, and so I'm going to take them out now and bring them downstairs to get their baths. Here we are. They're taking the baths. It's not deep water at all. Um, it just allows them to, usually they, I know it sounds gross, but go poop in here. Um, it, it releases whatever. And it also helps them. Turtles usually don't get enough water. So, oh, there's Finn checking in on them and we have Winston checking in on them too. Oliver will probably be here soon. Oh, there he is. So about 15 minutes, they'll stay in there and then we'll get them dried off, cut their nails, put some lotion on their shells and get them in a new enclosure. Oliver, what are you doing in there? You know better. Winston, you're so cute. No, not sassy like Oliver. So this is Henry, he's the biggest of the tortoises. I put him up on this platform. I wanna see, he'd be the one if any of them to go down the ramps. If the ramps don't work, I'm just gonna close the little thing, get a side clamping heating lamp. Um, there's another, um, under there is Bert. I put food in different places uh, so that they have their own space. Um, and then, like I said, this little flat lap, flap here closes. So if they're not using that, I may as well just close it off and put another heating lamp in the bottom. I did put, this goes like this and lock it. And then um, I put their heating lamp, actually I lifted it. So I wanna put it in the middle so it's not over their food. Um, and then I put little guy, which is Bert down here. So he has his own place to eat. Um, he sometimes gets pushed out of the way by the bigger ones. So um, yeah, and there's a heating pad underneath that coconut uh, carpet. So there's water here for him if he doesn't end up going up. I might just switch him around every couple days on who goes up to the top layer and who's in the bottom layer. But overall, I'm really pleased with this hutch. Um, and like I said, it would be good for, um, you know, I'm thinking like guinea pigs, rabbits, um, 
all kinds of different animals. So I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. Excuse the scratches. That's uh, Ernie scratching the bottom. He does that all the time upstairs too. we're watching right now is we're watching Henry um, check things out. I think he likes it. Please excuse the sweat. For some reason, again, I'm in a sweatshirt and it's like 71 degrees in the house. So um, it's causing me to sweat and I have pain issues, which when I get do too much, I sweat too. So enough of that. Um, I appreciate you watching the video. Um, go check out the, what uh, products they have. Um, I love this hutch. Um, we'll make it work whatever way we need to for my tortoises. And um, yeah, if you have a either a furry friend or a reptile friend who needs a, a new home, um, check them out. All right, um, I will put a link in my description box. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Oh, and remember that the world's a better place with you in it, uh, just the way you are. Don't change for anybody. You're perfect and you need to tell yourself that every time you look in the mirror and be like, God, I'm good, I'm perfect because that's how God made you or whoever you believe in. All right, talk to you guys later.